I'd like to show you how to edit a page on Google Drive, a document. This is a Word document, and you can see the kind of uh, document that it is by going to the left here. Okay, that's blue, just as uh, Word is. All right, so let's take a look at this text and how we can do basic things, like adding columns and rows, or deleting, and going back, history, and so on. So let's get started with how to add to the table. Okay, so this is a table, and I'd like to add a row. So let me show you how that's done. First thing I do is I click into the area that I'd like to add. So if I'd like to add to this row, I can decide to add above the row or below the row. And this is how it's done. Right click of the mouse and then I get this information. Okay, let me just uh, show you. All right, so I can do these various things and what I want to do is insert a row above or below. So I'm going to do it below. Okay, here I go. Okay, and there is the row. Now I want to delete this row because I don't want it. I can add information to this, but I'd like to delete it. So I click on the right of the mouse and I'm back here again. And then I can delete row, delete column, delete table, and table properties. We'll go into each of these to learn more about them. Okay, so in this case, I am going to go into delete row. Okay, and it's gone again. I want to show you that you can also go into table, top tab. Okay, this is the top tab. Now I'm going to go into table in the top tab. Okay, so let's go into table. When I go into table, I get the following information. I can insert a new table, which I don't want to do, and that's what a lot of people do. Instead of editing a row or a column, they mistakenly add another table, and that really confuses things, and they find it difficult to get rid of it. So what we can do is we can, again, insert above, insert below, insert column to the left, column to the right, delete row. All the information is right here in table properties. So under table, okay? So no right of the mouse for those of you that find that cumbersome or you're not using a mouse and you're using a, something else in an iPad or uh, you're on your Android, okay? So this is to avoid that kind of thing. So go straight into the table. Okay, so now we're going to insert a row above. There, the row is above. Let's go back to the table. We're going to delete that. Okay, so delete row. Next, we're going to go back into the table, and this time we're going to add a row to the left. Now, wow, I didn't want it to be there. Okay, here we need to know exactly where we are in order for the column to be placed. So let's go back into our table and get rid of that. Okay, so we're in, in the table and we're going to delete column. Now notice where we are. We're right here. Okay, there's the uh, okay, an indication where we are. Okay, you can see it. There we are. Okay, so we place our cursor there. Okay, there's our cursor. And now we're going to go into table and we're going to delete that column. And this is where the problem begins. A lot of times people delete columns unintentionally and then they find it difficult to retrieve it. And I'm going to show you how you can retrieve the mess that you've made unintentionally. And it happens to all of us. It doesn't mean that we don't know what we're doing. We're just uh, somewhere where we didn't think we were. All right. So we were on another column. So I want to here, I put my cursor. Notice I'm putting my cursor right here, okay, on the march. You can see it on the march, okay? Check a look. Take a look and see it. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to go into table. You can see the cursor on between the M and the A, okay, right here. And I'm going to go to the table and decide where I want the column. 
okay so uh, insert column to the left notice it's going to be the left of that okay there's the column to the left let me go back to the table okay and I'm going to delete that column where the cursor is so delete column there it's gone now I'm going to go back to the table I'm in the same place notice the cursor is just before the D and date I'm going to insert a column to the right there we are there's our column to the right okay if you miss that there it is the column to the right it's new now I'm going to delete that very column so make sure that the cursor is right there so for the column it's a bit tricky you have to really know where you are and double check you can always uh, let me show you how you can go back if you don't like what you did okay with the back forward buttons so this I'm going to delete that column not the row notice pay attention and not the table we don't want to do that all right so what if we made a mess and we want to go back and forth and oops oops all the oops okay here you go back all right so let's go back to what we did we don't like what we did so we're going to go back so notice what happens we can go back and forth we went back and there's the column again now we're going to go backwards so you know feel free to um, go back and forth and back and forth okay there we are there's the original table now let's say I want to make changes within for example I added notice a background I love backgrounds so let's go into this okay right now I'm here and I want to change the background so let, let me show you how you can make changes within the table to the cells okay which are the rows columns and what's in between inside them inside rows and the columns within go back to table okay notice when I go into table at the very bottom it says table properties I'm going to click on that notice the cursor right now is on March on the left the first column on the left between the R and the CH and the C all right so this is the table properties that I have where the cursor is so I can change things okay cell background okay right here it's white now I can make it let's make it this color okay and then I can decide the cell vertical alignment will the words be top center bottom I can also talk about the table alignment if I'm want words in the center right and so on and if I'm doing Arabic or Hebrew I might want it on the right and then uh, I can go into dimensions that's a bit more complicated unless you're familiar with the table you can play around with it create a table and play around with the table properties and everything else that's how you learn well that's how I learn so if you're like me explore all right table border okay I can also change the table border uh, let's do it now and we can always go back remember okay right now we're talking about the table we're not talking about the cell notice here here we're talking about cell background okay so let's see what happens let's click notice what happened the cell okay the cell background is right here not the table background the cell and notice that I have the border in red now what I'd like to do is I'd like to make the whole row another color all right so let's go in there we're back in the table and I want to make the whole row so let's go into table properties now this time I'm going to before I go into this I'm going to highlight this area except for this one let's keep that one okay so I want to unless I want to make every column within the row a different color but I'm not going to go into that now but you're welcome to do it it's a lot of fun so let's go back into properties notice I highlighted uh, everything but the purple pinkish okay and there's the cell background now notice that's for the top that's what I have currently in the default so I'm going to add yellow all right so look what happens the whole thing gets yellow because notice where I was okay so let me go back I don't like that I think I made a mistake I don't want this part highlight I just want this one okay so you got to make sure that you're doing the right thing okay that you're highlighting where you want the background to be back to table and right now it's white I'm going to make it yellow not that I like yellow that much but let's do it okay so notice I just highlight that part and that's how you do it if you have any questions feel free to um, email me Nelly Deutsch at gmail.com Deutsch is like in German D-E-U-T
T-S-C-H. And Nellie is with an I-E. So N-E-L-L-I-E, D-E-U-T-S-C-H at gmail.com. Feel free to uh, contact me, ask questions, and learn. Thank you so much for your attention. But before we go, let's go back and get rid of everything we did. Here we are.